Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make this video real quick to sh tell you guys about a few things that the Lord has kind of put in my heart um, to speak about um, these past few days. So uh, before we do that, I just want to pray real quick. Lord, I just ask that you would bind up my tongue. I pray that anything of the enemy, anything of me, any self that it be crushed I pray Lord that you'd be present in this moment and I pray that you'd fill up my cup and fill me up with only you so that I'd be able to speak the things that you want to be spoken and I pray that I'll get in the way get out of the way so the things that need to be spoken can be spoken in this video in Jesus name Amen So, a few days ago, I was at work, and um, I was running machines. I work in a factory, so we do um, machine work and stuff, and um, we print magazines and stuff. But uh, the Lord kind of um, was putting it on my heart to kind of pray for people or do intercessory prayer and uh, uh, I started crying out you know in the middle of nowhere um, and it kind of makes me want to cry now thinking about it but um, the Lord has kind of been saying lately how urgent things are The need to prepare not only in your own walk, but to prepare, but to prepare for Christ, to prepare for His coming, to prepare for the things that are coming. The need to move past petty differences. <laughs> the need to use this time to get closer to God. There seems to be an emphasis on the kingdom, I feel like the Lord is emphasizing the need to get right, to forgive people. to let things go <sighs> to 
to move on from the small things that are holding you back from walking in your fullness in Christ. And the need to pray more. Not only for yourself. But for others. We need to move past our differences. We need to come together and start working together. The enemy is letting Christians The enemy is letting Christians focus too much on little things when we could be coming together and working together to fight the enemy. Not only to fight the enemy, but but to be unified, to come together as the way we should be, as Christians should be, the way the Lord wants. Christians to be I know it hurts the Lord to see to see his body divided like this to see to see Christians who can't even come together. And I don't say this to make anyone feel bad. I just... I just feel like the Lord wants people to see to see that we don't have time for this. We're running out of time. <laughs> What are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your life? Are you using it to glorify the devil or are you using it to glorify God? Are you working towards the kingdom of heaven or are you working towards the kingdom of Satan. <clears throat> Please, brothers and sisters,
<clears throat> Please don't feel condemned about this video. Please let it encourage you. Please let it impress upon you the times that we're in. I pray that this video would help you to see that we need to start getting on the same track. If you're feeling down, go out and bless someone else. If you feel like you don't have anything to do, go help someone else out. <laughs> Make an improvement towards someone else's life. Make an improvement towards the kingdom. Make an improvement towards bettering your walk. Make an improvement towards... Little by little, whatever the Lord shows you, however he wants to show you what that looks like. Whatever he's calling you to do, whatever he wants to bless you with in your life, whatever he wants to do in your life, whatever he wants you victorious over <clears throat> whatever that is whatever that looks like whatever he shows you it's about time we need to start coming together <laughs> We need to realize the time we're in. We need to start pushing back the kingdom of darkness. We need to start loving each other. And working past our differences and things that we need to work on. Whatever it, is, whatever it is you're struggling with, I promise you the Lord can give you victory in it. You just got to stick through it, no matter how hard it gets. I found oftentimes when I'm feeling things, when I'm feeling warfare, when things get hard, when things get rough, a lot of the times the feelings that I think are mine, they ended up not being mine. Later I find out and they go away. And I've have a I've had a lot of revelation. The Lord has given me a lot of revelation. When it comes to, you know, not necessarily relying on my feelings. And a lot of things that I feel sometimes are not even me. It's just demonic. And I'm learning to realize to not trust how I want to feel, but how the Lord wants me to feel about certain things and situations. And I found that has that has given me victory over a lot of things. And I'm not here to say that I still struggle. I mean, I'm not here to say that that I don't struggle with things because I don't think we can ever hit a point where we're completely done. I think we're always growing. I think there's stuff to improve on. 
you can always grow more. <clears throat> And give God time to heal you up. Give God your heart. Give God the things that are bothering you. Just give it all to Him. Let Him change you. Let Him do what He needs to do in you to become what He wants you to become. I don't know necessarily what else to say, but I felt like I needed to get out the sense of urgency. And I pray that I pray that this video touches you deep down in your heart. I pray that the Lord will give you whatever you need. I pray that anything that I have that you receive even if I don't get it back. And I pray that the Lord would fill up your cup. I pray that he would send mighty angels to crush anything that is hindering you Anything the enemy that's trying to keep you from walking in your fullness, walking in what, what God has for you, and what he wants to do in your life, the plans that he has. And I pray that we would start coming together, and I pray that we wouldn't be playing footsies with the enemy anymore. And I pray that. You will see that sin is not our friend. I pray that we will see the damage sin does to you and everyone else. I pray that the families out there that their cups be full, that anything the enemy is on them. That it be bound up so that they can come so, to salvation. And I pray for the lost out there. And I pray that you do have peace and joy <clears throat> and understanding and wisdom and faith and boldness. And whatever you need to walk this out. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I pray that you receive what you need in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys have a good day.